Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. So today's video is me showing you our six month old puppy getting a first proper haircut. Um, you can't actually get them clipped until they're six months old because they'll get alopecia and it can really ruin the coat. But now that she's old enough, I can't wait to go and get her all trimmed up and looking smart for all the boys. If you want to see what Connie looks like when she's been to the groomers, then just keep watching. see she's a very scruffy looking pot. I love your scruffy little head. Um, she definitely needs a bath anyway. She hasn't been bathed for a couple of weeks because I knew I'd booked in this grooming session but the plan is to get her nice and short on her um, back to do her ears nice and short and to keep her nice and fluffy around her beard and keep those big fluffy eyebrows as well. I've had loads of messages from people saying that it's so nice to see a schnauzer with a long tail and he has not docked but it's actually illegal in the UK to do that anyway um, but I love a little waggly tail also as well I found out that she is actually a salt and pepper schnauzer not a black and silver one she did get sold to us as a salt and pepper schnauzer but when I looked it up I just said she was black and silver because she looked black and silver to me but I've been told by a breeder no she definitely is salt and pepper this is Connie before she goes for a grooming session and I can't wait to see what she looks like when she gets back. Oh, you're so gorgeous. Oh, I'm a little girl. Ow, that's my ear. I'm filming this little bit on my iPhone just because my battery is dead on my camera so I hope the quality isn't too bad but I've just had a text from the groomers to say that Connie's ready it's taken about 90 minutes um, for him to text me I did ask him for a rough idea of how long he thought it would take and he said about 90 minutes but don't just turn up without me texting you because you might be waiting around for a while and there's people wanting to go in and out of the shop and he's got like a one person in at a time policy at the moment obviously because of covid um so yeah i'm just about to go and pick her up now if i can get a little clip of her actually in the groomers then i will do but obviously if there's a cure obviously if there's a cure outside i'm not going to be hanging around so yeah let's go and pick her up and see what she looks like i'm so excited hello oh, oh my god she looks so cute oh Connie, that's what you're supposed to look like Oh, yes, yeah, she looks like a proper schnauzer now, doesn't she? Oh, she so, we've just got back. This is what she looks like. The groomer said that she had a really calm temperament and that she's like a really lovely dog and she was dead friendly. She apparently doesn't like the pads of her feet being touched, so I've got to start touching them more so that she's not as sensitive to it when they are, like, cutting the hair between the pads. And um, what else did he say? I've also got to start holding her under a chin so when I'm wiping around her mouth after a tea and stuff I've got to hold the hair underneath her chin um, which apparently doesn't hurt her or anything um, but she really doesn't like at the moment being touched under there she's quite ticklish underneath her chin although you don't mind it now do you darling got a proper schnauzer beard now her ears have been cut short and um, she's, she's been trimmed all over and you just look really lovely don't you and you've got your schnauzer brows still you look amazing. I bet you're tired now, are you, darling? Oh, and she smells amazing as well. So, um, when I was speaking to the groomer as well, he was basically saying that um, I need to be brushing her every single day. The only thing she didn't want him to do was trim her, trim her nails, but they didn't need doing this time. And he was like, because this is the first time you brought her to us, I don't want it to be a bad experience for her. What's up? I don't want it to be a bad, a bad experience for us, so um, I was just going to not push it too much, which I appreciate him doing that. Trimmed inside of her ears because schnauzers have a 
thing where the ear hair doesn't stop growing. It just grows and grows and grows and can cause infections and things like that. So yeah, I think he's done a really good job. Kept the hair and her legs um, nice and long as well, but she is getting her adult coat now or it's pretty much come through, which is why he's been able to properly give her a good coat. He says I've really got to be getting those lugs out as much as I can because the baby coat is getting mixed in with the new coat and that's what's causing all these knots. It cost me £20 altogether and it will go up to 27 when she is an adult. Um, and yeah, I was really happy with it. She smells amazing. They've used like a nice sensitive shampoo on her, I think. I'm definitely going to be leaving him a good review because I'm really happy with everything you could tell he really loves dogs as well which is super important isn't it when you're leaving them with someone um they've kept the skirt as well so she's had the cut where they keep sort of like the belly area nice and long um and her legs nice and long as well but all of her jacket's been really really trim uh, been trimmed really well and obviously we'll get some shape to that beard going on won't we comment down below if you enjoyed this video everybody i know it was only a short one but i just wanted to show you what she looked like and um, subscribe if you haven't already and tell me about your schnauzers in the comments. Everybody's loving these schnauzer videos so thank you so much for watching everybody. We will see you in our next one won't we? Bye!